Oh my goodness, I look scary without makeup on. Hi, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth. Bariatric badass, Liz, whatever you want to call me. Mom, uh, whatever. You're going to have to put up with me two weeks in a row with no makeup on because I haven't worked out yet and I don't want to take a shower until after I worked out, but if I don't make this video right now, it's not going to happen today. Um, I made a video with no makeup on last week and I had several messages from people saying, are you okay? I was still a little sick when I made last week's video. I am um, pretty much recovered now. But you're used to seeing me with all the stuff. And without all the stuff, I look like something's wrong. Sorry, what can I say? Anyway, and Dale Cooper wants to come up because I'm by myself. And um, if I'm by myself talking, he wants to be up here. Uh, he misses his daddy. Anyway, what's going on? Uh, for those of you who just subscribed, welcome. For those of you who have been subscribed and putting up with me for almost four years, Wow, that's all I can say. Anyway, um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy three years and 10 months ago. My starting weight was 402 pounds. My surgery weight was 360.6 pounds. I did not weigh this morning, but I think my weight right now is around 220. My four-year surge anniversary is coming up on April 14th. And all I'm shooting for is to be where I was this time last year, which was 218. Um, and that's about a 20 pound regain from my lowest, which was uh, probably about a year and a half post op. Anyway, so there's that. I am really unhappy with how my body looks right now. Um, I went and started back working out with Brandon Tuesday, going back today. I am, he went easy on me, so I'm not as sore as I thought I would be, but was not crazy about how those pictures look. It looks like all the, I, I, you know what, and I really do think, Tanya, chime in here if you think this is it too. I mean, I haven't been exercising, so that's one thing, and I haven't been, I have been eating carbs, and I think that's why all this weight has settled in my stomach area, and I'm really not a huge fan of that, so it's time to get busy. And get ketoing. Um, I am officially gonna try to get in three weeks of solid keto right after my birthday. So my birthday's March second, so I'm not gonna push it until after that. But March third, I want to do from March third to March thirty first as keto as I can possibly get, um, and see how that affects my body. So. Um, uh, I don't know what her YouTube name is, but her Instagram name is KitKate2017, and she is my spirit animal, and she posted an Insta story last week about overhearing a conversation in Target where um, one woman who had had weight loss surgery was talking to another woman who was considering weight loss surgery uh, and saying that having weight loss surgery was the biggest mistake of her life, that she had regained all the weight and she just needed to put her fork down. Um, the Insta story comes in little pieces, and if you're not familiar, you can comment along the way. So my first comment was, oh my god, I don't, I can't believe you kept your mouth shut during that. And then, as the story progressed, we found out she didn't. After the lady left, she politely went up to the woman and started talking to her. But I'm just curious. You know, there's a lot, because of the age of age, meaning length of time since surgery, of the people that I am friends with and follow on Instagram, and I have not been, I have not watched a single YouTube video in weeks um, since before I got sick. So the people that I am um, following are people who are around my time frame for the most part or um, older. And there's a lot of conversation going on about regain and um, And so I'm just wondering, what do you think? Do you think? I don't think most of the people who watch me think having weight loss surgery was the biggest mistake they've ever made. I certainly don't think that. I think even though I am uh, having a little regain right now, it's the best damn thing that I ever did for myself. And it during the period, that initial period, it helped me understand what is good nutrition and health and fitness, even though I knew it book learning. Um, I knew all that stuff as all overweight people do because you hear it so many times you've read and bought every book and diet and whatever. I actually have implemented it for the majority of these last four years and um, I would not change a single thing um, about having surgery. But I was just curious um, 
on what you would tell someone about your weight loss surgery. I'm in a bit of a slump. Um, I'm a little sad. I think things are going to be changing again, and I am always not a I always resist change, you know, um, but my health insurance kicks in March 1st. I'm thinking I'm going to um, go back on Wellbutrin, which is an antidepressant that I took for years and years and years, and I know working out regularly is going to help too, but I have been in a, um, I have been in a real slump. I feel like I'm coming out of it um, the last couple of days, but it's tough when that happens, and, you know, the biggest part of that is the voices that go in your head saying, you suck, you suck, you suck. Get up, get up, get up, get up, do something. You know what you're supposed to do, do it. And that's not helpful, not so much. Anyway, um, but one of the things, I feel like there's been a lot of loss um, for me this year, and not in the traditional sense. Nobody's died. Um, I haven't really technically lost anyone. Um, but a lot of the things that I took for um, facts just... I've discovered over the past year aren't and um, that's been in learning about myself and for me I have always very much been a control freak that's how I've tried to manage uh, and keep things stable for myself for very long and you know I've just realized and also to know things my therapist used to joke that she knows making progress in therapy when I actually brought an issue to therapy instead of having worked on it on my own for weeks and having a solution to it in my head and bringing her the problem with the solution. Um, so that's how she knew I was in therapy when I actually took the problem before I figured it out on my own. I am very, uh, I have been very dependent on my um, ability to figure things out, make things happen and control things my whole life. And what I've realized over this last year is number one, I know nothing. All the, so many things this year that I thought were hold card, hard cold facts I found out weren't um, in terms of other people and even in terms of myself and what I want and who I am. And I'm just really trying to um, come to terms with that. So back to therapy, that's a must, antidepressants, exercising, doing the things that I know that are good for me. Still super excited about the retreat. I need to send everybody an update email. We still have probably five slots left. Um, and I'm going to be kicking off a Facebook group um, March 1st for the people who signed up. One of the things that I'm so excited about this retreat is, for the most part, I don't know these people. And that's really one of the things that I wanted this retreat to be for, is for people who, if you make YouTube videos and you're very active on social media, you have a community, a a tribe of people that you develop through that inner through that interaction and going to conferences and things like that but I know there's a whole world of people who don't have that and so one of uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was bring this together at least for a weekend um, with some support and speakers for people who may not have that and so I'm super excited to get to know the people who are coming that I don't already know um, so you'll be hearing more about that coming up I am I am actually really feeling my stamina back since yesterday so ready to start attacking all the things again um, I love you guys I have missed you and um, be kind to yourself have a good week and oh my god these workout streaks that people are doing I am loving that uh, Esther and Susie VSG and I don't even know who else but those are the, the ones that come to mind workout streaks yes I'm on it today I didn't exercise yesterday because I was a little sore but I am today, and I will get back in my walking and running and my things because I want to work out street too because hello. All right. Love you guys. Have a great week, and I will get back to my normally scheduled programming soon.